Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of 5-Minute Machine Learning. Today we plot partial dependence plot in Python. If you like these content, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon. Partial dependence plot, or PDP, is a simple tool that can be used to explain various types of machine learning models. It describes the relation between the model inputs and the model output. It is a model agnostic method, meaning that it does not depend on the model type. It is usually used for global explainability between model inputs and model output in general. It is not commonly used for local explainability on individual observations behavior. To use PDP, you have to have a trained model. Let's take a classification model as an example. To plot the relation between feature 1 and the target variable, keep all other independent variables unchanged. For all the observations, change their feature 1's value to a minimum number you observed or defined. Use the train model to score each observation. Take the average of the model output. Repeat the process with the next value. Score every observation and take the average of the output. Keep doing so till the maximum value of feature 1. You can now plot the replaced value for feature 1 against the average of the model score. This can be performed to all features. Let's bring in the module first. The dataset we are using today is the California Housing Dataset. Let's look at the column names. So the independent variables are medium income, house age, average rooms, average bedrooms, etc. The dependent variable is the housing price. Note that the dependent variable is demeaned, meaning it subtracts its mean, so that the PDP plot will be centered at zero. Now let's look at a brief scatter plot. Some quick information we can see here is that you can see outliers for a medium income, average rooms, average bedrooms, etc. indicated by long tails. Two major house clusters are probably two cities, San Francisco and Los Angeles. Now we are not trading data in this episode, that's for another topic. Now we train a gradient boosting regressor. plot the PDP. Now let's look at the relationship between median income and the housing price. As the median income of the houses within a block of the target house increases, the target house value also increases. This relation is positive, which is as expected. Similarly, the impact of average occupation on housing price is negative. The house age doesn't affect the house price too much. You can also look at the 2D PDP, which contains two variables in a similar fashion. Last but not least, a 2D PDP could also be represented by our surface plot. PDP is easy to understand and relatively quick to compute, but it assumes no correlation between independent variables, which is unrealistic. For example, you would not expect a 1,400 square foot house to have 25 rooms. There are other methods, such as accumulated local effects, that mitigate this kind of weakness. But that's for another episode. I hope you enjoyed.